The Arachnorock Spider crawling its way into Monster Hobbies. What's in the box coming up next? Hello everybody, welcome back to another amazing Monster Hobbies What's in the Box where we will be looking at the Gloom Spite Gets Arachnorock Spider, which is a very cool old model kit. I've got an old one here still in the red box. I don't know if they actually made this into a white box with round bases. If they did, leave a comment, let me know. <laughs> I can't keep up with everything, even though I sell Games Workshop. <laughs> but anyway, enough of that. Let's go down and check out this amazing model. And now let's go into the forest where we're going to look at the Arachnorak Spider. <laughs> now, this is an amazing little box. You can see the nice artwork. It's a little bit older, of course. But if we turn it over on the back and spin it around, we can see a variation of this wonderful model. And of course, the wizard and the face of the big spider and our older Games Workshop paints that we need to build this. So now let's open the lid and stop talking like a git and look at the plastic bits. <laughs> so here's our instruction sheet for our Ragnarok Spider. I'm not going to talk like the Goblin anymore, in case you're wondering. Uh, this one came out in 2010. So the uh, old model that came out for uh, 8th edition fantasy or maybe a little before that has uh, now come out and it's available for the gloom spike gets which of course is the updated night goblin army for age of sigmar so now according to the gloom spike gets battle tome you can build this just as the arachnorok you can also build it with uh, some of the web spinner shamans on it and a bunch of the other guys so you do get quite a bit of choice on this thing here of course is the instructions for the spider going together all its different bodies their body panels and pieces you only get one spider in this one giant spider uh, there's all the little mandibles and the eyes and everything that go on it really cool really cool you know okay anyway and here's the legs going on this would also make a neat model kit if you're into like monster models and you need a giant spider for something this is one of the better detailed type of spiders it's got the big crab leg type things on here so a fantasy spider as it were and then now this is where we get into the older stuff so there's a square base comes with the kit. I do believe Games Workshop has updated this recently with a round base in it. It's one of the big round bases. Here's a uh, spider web that goes underneath the spider toward the back of them. Just to give you a little bit of cool stuff on your base. And now we get into some of the build options here. So this is to attach a platform, which would be made out of branches and things for the goblins. The spider enhanced uh, gets, the gloom spite gets. I must use the new terminology. Okay, now in this panel on the instruction sheet, they give you the three different building options that you can build the arachnorak spider in. One of them is the spider with the hoda. The next one is with the flinger, which is like a catapult that shoots web balls. And then we've got the catchweb spider shrine. This shrine is all gluing together and going up on here on our spider, which is good. And then here we have the crew with our gits holding the big spider ball and loading it up in here and a guy with the spear and then we've got a couple dudes on here this guy is our uh, this would be our spider shaman getting glued on there you can also mount him on a round base and then they show all the gits on the back with their weaponry 
and all the little spiders that are on here so again if you like building monster model kits this is a great one to have extra spiders with keep some of these guys for your Dracula diorama or whatever and there's the spider all together and as you can see with the square base his legs and everything touch the edges and with the round base I do believe it comes out more in toward the back legs but of course we'll have to check that out with the newer model kit so here is our base of our Ragnarok spider this is of course a square base from 8th edition or earlier editions you could use this if you're playing like Kings of War or uh, Middle Hammer or one of the earlier type war games. Of course, now it'll all be replaced with a round base. But the reason why I'm showing this is, is see this one here. This, of course, is one of our Gloom Spike Gets Stabas from the old days. He's still mounted on a square base. This came from Battle for Skull Pass, but look at the uh, size here in comparison. This is one little guy, and this would probably make up, let's see, one, two, three, about four and a half uh, stabas um, wide by, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five six about seven of these guys long so four and a half by seven that's quite a size now here's our sprue and the parts tree and this purple paper behind there is eight and a half by eleven and a half or standard paper size i could be wrong a little bit you know it happens <laughs> okay so these are all the spidery bits there's our walkway going there, and the spider web, the flinger. There's all tons of little teeny spiders in here too, all throughout this. Uh, Medium-sized spiders, little spider nests, all the cool stuff. And of course we have our gloom spike kits, little forest type guys with bows and spears and all kinds of cool stuff. And if we flip it over, you can see some more of the detail along the back here. You can see our little guys. They're kind of dressed uh, with feathers and whatnot. Very tribal looking. So I'm going to bring this up into our camera lens so that we can check out the detail a lot better. This is like the big reveal. So there's part of the plank. And you can see the spider on there and the little twigs. Check out that spider web. Some cool stuff. Some skull heads weaved into the web. The web! There's a skeleton that's all wrapped up, kind of mummified a little bit. Sort of like that scene in Lord of the Rings where Elijah Wood Woods gets all wrapped up. You know him as Frodo! <laughs> and, uh, yeah. You also know him as the Puppet Master. Okay, anyway, so there's our gets here. Look at that, that face. Ah. Anyway, there's a bit of a tree going on here. That's what's on the base. The spider webs. And of course, skull heads. The web ball. There's little hands on here so that the uh, get can hold them. Neat, neat stuff. Let's turn it over. Let's take a look at that spider ball on the other side. It's almost like a big, big thing of uh, yarn all wrapped up. Really cool detail. There's the skull head on the flinger. That's the counterweight. It's the skull, probably from a giant. There's the actual thrower up there. It's really cool stuff. Look at this one. Uh, one of the gits got caught up in the spider web by mistake. Oh, uh, here's the spider shaman. Now uh, let's turn him around. He needs another hand glued on, which is on the parts tree somewhere, and a face. But look at that. Um, the face somewhere actually has the eight little spider eyes, which is pretty cool for him. Let's see if I'm up there. Yeah, so let's need stuff. Look at underneath the spider. <laughs> yeah, Games Workshop makes some really good model kits. 
And uh, yeah, that's our look at the first sprue tree. And here's our second sprue tree. This is, in fact is the spider, the Arachnorak spider, and all his little bits and his little spider buddies. <laughs> okay, so you can see the legs and everything. At least you got a few spiders to base this spider on. There's his eyes there. Um, and not too much. I'm going to bring this up to the camera again so we can see it better. Let's take a look at that spider face. Look at that. Pretty frightening looking. Frightening that my camera can't focus on it when I need it to. Anyway. Okay, there's part of the back, the upper back. There's uh, a bit of the plating on there. And his body, left and right hand sides. The nice legs, which are molded in the 360 degree mold. So, and this is hollow on this side, so you need to glue that together. As well as all the other bits and pieces. Nice. Great detail work on this thing. Really excellent. So there isn't too much to show on that individually. So and I'm just going to ask you guys a couple of questions. Have you actually built the Arachnorock Spider? Is it an easy kit to build? What's your impressions on it? And how does it play on the battlefield? Have you won a few games with it? Does it compare well against other model monster models out there on the gaming field? Let me know what you think down in the comments below. And that completes our look at the Arachnorock Spider! <laughs> and wasn't that an amazing review of this great, big, huge, monstrous model? I sure hope you enjoyed it and that you will add it to your Gloom Spite Gits collecting army stuffs. <laughs> so anyway, Without further ado, don't forget to come down to Monster Hobbies personally and visit our Games Workshop shelf here where we have Warcry and Silver Tower. And then I've got some of the older stuff here too and some of the stuff you might need for your Gloom Spike Gits Army, like our Night Goblins, old box, and our Lorthin Skycutter here. Not that you can play those together, but you know what I mean. Uh, Wood Elf Glade Guards, and we also have some Empire Great Swords, which will be some amazing models to build. And I know that some of these are no longer going to be available because of the new Cities book. But anyway, it doesn't matter. Get one of these great babies, and we'll see you on the battlefield.